child, Franklin fried that pig up. Teddy's chest was looking like bacon frying in a skillet. And I enjoyed watching it. Hey up and hello, this is the Chris Nicole giving you my views on life, love, and the world of entertainment through my eyes. And this is my review on Snowfall Season 6, Episode 9, Sacrifice. Alright, so we start off the episode with Louie leaving town and she gets a call from Franklin that the DEA is after her. And while she's on the phone with him, the DEA is pulling up to her house. Once again, this shows that Franklin is all about himself, but I mean, honestly, Louie and Teddy are, are as well. They all have that in common. Um, they're about their bottom line. So he told her after he got what he wanted from her and they did each other dirty. So, hey, it is what it is. And so next we see Franklin and Gustavo taking Teddy out of the trunk where Ruben is also being held. And while Franklin and Gustavo leave, Sissy and Leon stay in the warehouse to separate Ruben and Teddy. And so before Franklin leaves, though, he pretty much tells Teddy and Ruben, you can take a piss, you can take a shit right in that chair. I don't care. This is where you're going to stay. So next we see crackhead pig Buckley picking up Louie and, of course, he is also about his own bottom line, and he tells her, asks her, does the DEA have anything on him, and what did Franklin say? So Louie tells Reddy Rock fool Buckley that she has a sash house with almost a million dollars in it so they can leave the country. And he says he wants half of the money if she wants his help. I don't know why she told him that, but... I started to think about it and I said, something tells me this is not going to go down like he thinks it's going to go down, knowing how Louie is. Again, she is selfish and also about her bottom line. So next we see Sissy talking to Ruben and Ruben tells her that the KGB has all of Franklin's conversations taped. And if he doesn't check in in 24 hours, they will make sure those tapes get out to the press, the international press at that. Now, this is an example of how revenge clouds your judgment, because I just didn't understand why Sissy and Franklin didn't think that Ruben was recording. Like, how do you think that he's not recording you, especially Sissy? During the 60s and 70s, they were very aware of what the government did to the black movement. So she should have been on high alert to not trust anyone from any operation. But the pain of her losing Alton and Franklin focus on money, they just weren't thinking. So Sissy talked to Teddy next, and this is when things get real interesting because Sissy questions Teddy about if he has any guilt about what he's done. And Teddy's response is like, did I make the crack? Did I rock it up? Did I tell people to destroy their lives and smoke it? And while this piece of shit has a point, the thing is, he represents the system that made it to where people felt like they only had two options sometimes, which was either sell it or use it, okay? If you strip away the resources, people are going to become the hunter or the prey, point blank, period. So no other communities were destroyed like the black community when it came to drugs, especially during the crack epidemic. So people knew what would happen because they know what happened in poor communities. So he can kiss my ass with that nonsense. Yes, to a certain extent, people like to say, well, it was people in, in your own communities that were selling it. But if they don't have any other options, this is what happens. So anywho, Teddy continues, continues to talk to Sissy. 
And Sissy pretty much is sitting there just like with her dagger eyes looking at Teddy until Teddy says, you helped him. You helped him launder money. You helped him with his operation. And Sissy, uh, I ain't got no response, homegirl, because you on your own with that one because he's definitely right on that. He definitely has a point with that. At the end of the day, you had no problem with Franklin getting that money and how he was getting that money when you were about to be the queen of real estate in Los Angeles. And the look on her face when Teddy said that, at that point, I think she realized that she is just as guilty, if not more guilty, because you're Franklin's mother, which is why I love the episode title, Sacrifice, okay? So Teddy tries to manipulate Sissy by saying that Alton is still alive and he's actually in a prison in Puerto Rico. Did you see a body? Did you see any its blood? Did you see any signs of, you know, force or, you know, commotion? No, no, he's he's in a prison. And so at that point, Sissy doesn't know what to believe. And she just leaves and leaves Teddy, of course, to be in his piss and shit for the rest of the night. So next we see Franklin and Gustavo saying their goodbyes. And I just love this scene because... While Gustavo and Franklin had their minor issue with Lucia in season two, um, they stayed loyal to each other for the most part. Um, I just love that, especially, of course, we get the scene where they're talking about the wrestling again. And, of course, Franklin was a huge fan of Gustavo, known as Oso, as his wrestling name. Um, but I also love it because growing up in California, with Franklin being black and Gustavo being Hispanic, in Southern California, there has been so much division between both communities. Um, and at one point, it wasn't that bad. So I'm glad that they showed that through them being from different cultures, different races, that they were still loyal to each other and they still kept that bond. So I love that scene. So next we see Buckley taking a crack pipe break. And gets out of the car, and of course, because he's on crack, he's slipping. But then again, I guess he does—he doesn't assume that Louis's gonna do anything to him. Louis takes his gun out of the car, and she finally gets the answer to the question that she's had since Jerome passed: Did Jerome call Buckley? So she pretty much says, "Give me your pager." She looks at the pager and finds out that he did call Buckley from Scully's, and so at that point, she leaves Buckley there, takes his car, and bounces. But she leaves him alive. I would have terminated his ass. Like, why did you leave him alive? But she's able to leave out of there in the car. And I don't know if this is going to be our last episode that we see Louie, but hey, maybe this is open-ended for a reason. Who knows? So next day, Franklin comes back to see Teddy. And I get happy because the torture turns up okay of course franklin wants his money and this is when the amazing writing and acting takes place because i love the contrast between what's going on right now where franklin is torturing teddy because the first time teddy and franklin interacted in season two teddy was torturing franklin so i just love that so Franklin now realizes that all the stuff Teddy was doing was just a con. And for some reason, he thought Teddy was his friend. This is another example of chewing the meat and spitting out the bones. And why do I say that? Because had Franklin listened to his father, even before his father went to the reporter, he told Franklin this would happen. But because his father wasn't around when he was younger, had a drinking problem, and Franklin, you know, not only hated his father for abandoning him, but he also hated, in my opinion, the black move movement because I think he felt like the black movement destroyed his father. So he never respected his father and he didn't want to listen to his father. And he thought he was a better man than his father. So because of that, he never listened and he rather have accepted Teddy versus his own father sad situation but this is what happens so he literally says i thought you were my friend and we would be in each other's lives forever 
man, get the hell up out of here. So the torture continues and he tries to get his money and then Sissy becomes a hater and pretty much stops Franklin. Sissy and Leon tries to talk some sense into Franklin, but Franklin doesn't give a damn and he just wants his money. Sissy says she doesn't want him to be a killer and uh, Franklin says it's too late and Sissy, hell yeah, and you knew it was too late in season three when he killed Andre, so miss me with that. Then we see V, Veronique, who helps Franklin turn it up on Teddy because they're tapped out. They have no more money. They have no resources. So at this point, she's even desperate to get the money. And I'm sorry, I still don't trust Veronique. I know people were saying, oh, she a ride or die. She turned it up on, on Teddy and helped Franklin. I still don't trust her because once she realizes that money is completely gone, let's see if she sticks around. If she sticks around next episode and she remains with Franklin, poor or rich, then I'll say she's a ride or die. So... My favorite part of the episode, V goes in to speak to Teddy and pretty much gives him a story about how her mother wouldn't cook because of a horrible burning accident in the kitchen. So that's why she would never go into the kitchen. Baby Franklin turns on that oil and burns Teddy up. Turn, oh, when I tell you, I was just like, <laughs> that's what your punk ass get. She burned him up. The man who constantly tortured people finally gets tortured. But even after his chest looked like pieces of bacon or a scene from Silence of the Lambs, he's still trying to manipulate Franklin. But at the same time, I'm not shocked because he's trained for these types of things to get tortured and stuff like that. If I was Franklin, though, I would have took that oil and poured it straight in his peen area and maybe because I'm a woman, that's just my automatic response on where I would pour, you know, that type of stuff or, you know, do damage to that area. But yeah, I would have poured it straight in that area and see if he would have had that same energy. But anywho, that's just what I would have done. But with that, Franklin finally hears the truth from Teddy. Teddy's privilege comes out and he pretty much says, I made you. It's my money, my drugs, my operation. So in other words, Franklin, you were just a pawn on a chessboard. There are no friends in the drug business, Franklin. And for some reason, you wanted to be liked by Teddy so bad, liked by the man so bad that as soon as you decided to become your own man, that guy Teddy that you thought cared about you so much put you back in your place. That's what you get for trusting his ass. Okay, so at that point, Teddy claims that he was mad at Franklin because Franklin left him. And Franklin looks like he's about to cry. And I'm still thinking like, Franklin, why are you falling for this shit? Like, he, you leaving him? Like, I guess what he's referring to is when he decided to move on and literally, I guess, go with the operation without Teddy. I'm assuming that's what he means. But with that, Teddy never planned to protect Franklin. He said in season two when he was talking to the DEA lady that killed, that Gustavo killed, he told her then that as soon as he got all the funds he needed for the war, that he would give up all of his people. That includes Franklin. He never had any intentions of, of protecting Franklin or letting Franklin go. So again, I'm like, Franklin, why are you believing this shit? So finally, after all is said and done with the torturing, Teddy offers Franklin half of his money. Again, he offers Franklin half of Franklin's money. And Franklin is so desperate, he's willing to take that option and falling for it. So Franklin finds the numbers to the apparent account in Teddy's wallet. And from that point, he thinks it's all over. He can take a deep breath and he'll have some of his money. Franklin calls Steve, the CIA agent. And interesting enough, Steve don't give a damn about Teddy, but he does perk up when Franklin mentions that he will give up the KGB spy. Okay. 
he don't care about Teddy. But I guess at the end of the day, he figures if you find Teddy, maybe you'll find the resources that they really want. And it's not Teddy. It's that money and everything else they can get because of Teddy. So now this is when the name of the episode shows up in this scene with Sissy, Franklin, V, and Leon. And Sissy realizes that Franklin, after all of this, still wants to make a deal with the enemy for the money and how she really sees he is so obsessed with this money. She even goes as far as to, goes as far as to say that she will take Franklin to the drop off and after she is done, her and Franklin will never see each other again. And this fool Franklin says, okay, the man who in the beginning of the series hated when his mother wouldn't even speak to him, cried when his mother closed the door on him, is now saying deuces to his mama over that money. <sighs> Franklin doesn't even realize though that his mother is the real gangster in the family. So they meet up with Steve at the drop-off spot and Steve wants to know where the KGB agent is. Again, not caring about Teddy. And Franklin says until he feels comfortable, he's not handing over shit. But first, Teddy needs to transfer the money. And at that moment, I see that like Sissy is in deep thought. Like she is just like, she's physically there, but she's not there. And so Teddy gets on the phone and apparently is going to transfer this money. And he's about to give up the password. And Sissy is pacing while he's on the phone. And she pretty much goes to Teddy and says, what jail is Alton in? And Teddy's kind of taken aback. He's like, huh, what? And she was like, what jail? And Teddy's like, Heffa, I shot him twice and dumped his body. Like, I, I, was, I was fucking with you. Like, he ain't alive. Like, get the hell out of my face. Baby, <laughs> Sissy steps back and does a set it off moment like Queen Latifah and literally turns around and kills Teddy. Now, the crazy part about it is, of course, there's so much chaos going on because people hear the gunshots and people are running. And then at the same time, you have Franklin who's freaking out because he Teddy couldn't give the password. So he's like, no, Teddy, give him the password. Just even with your last breath, give him the password. The crazy, the most hilarious part is when Teddy is shot, Steve just looks and says, fuck, and walks away. Doesn't try to see if Teddy is okay. He's not even panicked. He does a very low fuck and walks away and literally blends in with the crowd. So at that point, I was just like, oh my gosh. Like he truly is fuckless. Like he is fuckless. How do you just sit there and see someone get killed? And your first reaction is fuck and let me get out of here and pretty much you know, out of sight, out of mind. So Sissy ends up killing Teddy. And while Franklin finally realizes that Teddy is gone, he turns around and he looks at his mom. He's like, mom, we got to go. And she had the gun in her hand and she says, goodbye, Franklin. She made the ultimate sacrifice to save her son, her grandchild, and, and Leon. Because she knew that was the only way to stop all of this at this point. So Franklin, was it really worth it? Was it really worth it? The money, was the money worth it? Now your mother's going to be in jail for the rest of her life. Powerful and un unexpected ending. Because I never thought Sissy would be the one behind Teddy. Well, actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, yeah, I could I could see her being the one, but I still didn't expect it to end that way. So excellent ending. Um, and I'm glad Teddy is gone, damn it. Yeah, hell yeah, I'm glad he's gone. So a couple of points as far as the show is concerned. I don't think Franklin was ever going to get the money. Let's just say if Sissy didn't shoot Teddy at that time, Teddy was not going to allow Franklin to get any of that money for all we know he could have gave up a password to put it in another account to hide it even more he was not gonna let franklin win he would rather die before franklin got any of that money okay so next week is the last episode these are some of my my you know points or what i'm thinking about as far as this this last episode is concerned if franklin gets out alive like I said before, he will be broke and by himself. 
Now, unless this is the last episode, we're going to see Peaches. And Peaches is going to come back in the last episode and some of the money he took will be there and Franklin can use that money to start a new life. That's the only way I can see that happen. Now, if Louie comes back in the finale, as much as I don't like her now, um, she will either be the one that possibly ends Franklin or maybe she actually goes to Jamaica to fulfill Jerome's goals because Jer Jerome said before he passed, he was going to, to Kingston, he was going to Jamaica. I'm hoping that Leon makes it, but his ride or die mentality for Franklin, I just I just don't know if that's realistic, but I'm hoping he does make it. Uh, interesting enough, I was thinking about this. I say the biggest plot twist for the end would be if Teddy actually finally told the truth and Alton is alive. What if Alton is alive somewhere and while he gets out of prison, Sissy is in prison? That would be a great plot twist. That would be the biggest plot, plot twist. But let me know what you think about that. Like, what if he actually told the truth? Because I felt like Teddy was a calm man the entire time. He just lied to lie. But what if he was actually telling the truth at that moment, the first time when he told her, I have him in jail in Puerto Rico? I don't see Sissy getting out or Sissy getting, you know, off. She's definitely going down. But to be honest, she had been in an internal prison for a very long time, like especially after losing Alton. Then she lost her baby brother, Jerome. And then she realized that while Franklin is still alive, his soul is empty. Um, She already was checked out. So I don't even know if she cares at this point. But what are your predictions for the final episode? Honestly, Next week, after the episode is over, I swear I think I need to go to the hood, buy a 40, and pour some out for the best show that I've seen in a very long time. Like, I thought The Wire was always going to be my favorite show and nothing was going to top The Wire. <sighs> Snowfall is up there. It's up there. So I'm excited to see what's going to happen, but sad at the same time. So like, share, and subscribe, and leave your comments below, and I will see you on my next video. Peace.